Okay guys, I decided on this video not to do an intro, just jump right in and do a quick, simple makeup tutorial without all that jazz, so I hope you enjoy. I am carving out my eyebrows and this is just going to give them that sharp, sleek texture. This is preference. If you don't like your eyebrows to be this unnatural, well then you don't have to do it, my friend. Then I'm going to go in with I Spy, which is this warm orangey tone color and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm going to be using the E25 brush from Sigma. This is probably my all-time favorite Sigma brush because it's just so easy to use in a universal way. But I'm just working that right into the crease. You can't really tell this color, but it helps soften up that shadow base. Then I'm going to go in with Melrose from ColourPop. This is in their fall collection, by the way. It is this beautiful warm tone color. It reminds me so much of Brown Script by MAC. I don't even know what to do, but it's only $5 versus, what, $15 from MAC? Um, I'm taking the E25 brush and I'm going to blend that right on top of I Spy. This is going to warm up the look, build it up, make it look gradient, nice and soft, make the colors transition really nicely. And then I'll just go in with a clean blending brush to blend a little more. Then I'll go in with the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop pencil. I think this one is in Starlight or Stardust. I'll have it linked down below. But I popped this all over the lid and I actually did a really heavy coat of this because I wanted it to stand out big time. Um, this is perfect for that glam but grungy look. Then I went in with Straight Trippin'. I absolutely adore the name of this color. Straight Trippin', yo yo. Okay, let's stop. Then I blended that right into the crease. What I wanted to do with this color is to help the dark and the light colors blend together more that way it's not just like cut off where you see the orangey red colors and then just the dark color that way everything is gradient and it flows on our eyelid this part did probably take me the longest just because I wanted it to be really soft but I didn't want to mess up the lid color so I went in with this little defining brush and did that and then I went in with a clean blending brush as usual and just softened it up a little bit more that way there is no harsh lines I already did my foundation and concealer and then I'm going to pop on a little bit of Melrose to the lower lash line and then on top of that I'll add Straight Trippin' which is the darker purple color closer to the lower lashes with a short shader brush from Sigma. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite high caliber lash mascara and give the lashes a few coats, top and bottom lashes. And we're going to add falsies but if you don't like falsies, literally do not add them. Just add your favorite mascara and wham bam girl. There you go. Then I'm going to be using the House of Lashes and Iconic which are perfect because they're a little bit grunge and a little bit glam like what better lashes to use for this look but like I said if you don't want to use lashes then do you then I'm going to go in with this OCC lip tar or not lip tar OCC lip liner in Sebastian and line the lips and I'm going to go in with Tootsie by Colourpop their lipstick I think these two together give it a nice grungy glam look because the lips are a little bit gray but then they have a little bit of a nude color in the center it just turns out super pretty then we'll finish the face going in with my Rockateur blush this has just been my non-stop wearing blush I can't put it down and partly it's because it smells so good I pop that onto the apples of the cheek and then oh it's time to highlight going in I think it's called so Hollywood I can't remember I can't remember anything guys but I pop this on to the high points of the cheekbone just to give us a little bit of a glow if you don't want to do that because after all this is a glam grunge look well then just leave it off but I love it and then I'm gonna spritz my face with Mac fix plus spray to give everything an enhance of color that is it for this look I hope you enjoyed please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys